Far 78% have voted yes in a referendum that was called after mass protests against inequality. Many argue the constitution, which dates back to the military rule of General Augusto Pinochet, is out of touch and not fit for purpose. President Sebastián Piñera praised the peaceful vote. Armenia and Azerbaijan have accused each other of violating the latest ceasefire over the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh minutes after it came into effect on Monday. The U.S. brokered ceasefire had been announced in Washington on Sunday. Two other ceasefires agreed earlier this month over the conflict were broken almost immediately. Fighting erupted on the 27th of September around the mountainous enclave, and the conflict has intensified again in recent days. Opposition parties in Tanzania are claiming the government are making it harder to accredit thousands of opposition observers who want to ensure the vote is fair ahead of Wednesday's election. Incumbent President John Magufuli, seen here campaigning earlier, has been criticised for severely stifling dissent since his 2015 election win, notably barring opposition parties from holding most public gatherings. There are warnings the issue could lead to violence, with parties saying they won't allow polling stations to operate without the observers. The kind of violence that we're beginning to see uh, is, 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 is different. Uh, this time, uh, the regime is, is scared and they are going to be very, very violent because in a free and fair election we will win fair and square. And finally, after clinching the top scorer award in the Women's Chinese Super League, Zambian footballer Barbara Banda is inspiring girls at home to follow in her footsteps. The 20-year-old won the Golden Boot of China's top flight after scoring 18 goals in just 13 games, double that of her nearest goal-scoring rival. The powerful forward, playing her debut season in China, finished the campaign nine goals ahead of her nearest challenger, Temwa Chawinga of Wuhan Jinghua. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.